since I can't do nothing else this December I decided to test out those 304 amp hour cells that I got last year they've been doing nothing but sitting in one place for whole year so let's see how they hold up after one year So here are those four 304 amp hour EVE cells that I received last December. If you haven't seen the video, I'll post the link down in the description of it. Take a look. If you watch slowly, you can see dust and some, I want to say spider web or something. Here's that TBD smart shot, the first version that was sent to me for a review and to keep. It yellowed out, I guess maybe from the heat when it was sitting in the garage. Still blinking blue, but we'll check each cell and see what is the voltage here now before trying to charge it up. Let's say cell one is at 3.3322 let me turn this on 3.3321 the next cell is 3.3309 the next cell is 3.3314 And the last cell is at 3.3312. So I started charging with the Victron Energy Blue Power Charger, Blue Smart Charger, 30 amp output, Bluetooth charger. So charging is started let me put this down hook it up and then tell you what's the charging voltage is right now all right the charging voltage right now is at 13.58 4 volts and it's rising all right so here we go 3.4 3.406 3.406 and I will say 3.4 I had to stop charging due to one of the cells being way under full while other ones were already over 3.65 volts so this is the cell it's a 3.3676 right now the cell next to it is a 3.63 well the power is disconnected from the charger okay so let's go to a next one over here more easier to show so the cell number three is a 3.6 and the first cell over here is a 3.58 the voltage is dropping down real quick so let me plug it in and i show you one more time uh, i will try to show this as soon as possible i don't want to go to a higher voltage okay so the first one is already 3.65 okay the second cell is at 3.67 it's going up quickly so let me transfer to the to the last two cells the cell number three is a 3.7 and the last cell is only a 3.37 so let me turn this off and uh, Let's talk about it. 
I don't know what, what is even there to talk about. I have made this, I have said a year ago, and I'm going to say this again, that all of these cells that we purchased from China, be it a gray day, super new, beautiful, this, that, and the other, they are all rejects in manufacturing. They're perfectly new, but I think they're just a reject. I can't believe that you can have such a big difference in one year from one of these cells if they were all brand new. So these three are in spec and this this one is way lower. I don't know how much lower this cell is. Let's see what they claim. This is one of the things that I did kind of a little bit of a research, short research this afternoon since I keep receiving all these emails from different suppliers in China. All right, let's go take a look at that. Here's one of the emails that I received. What really bothers me with this current state of advertising, and guys, believe me, I did not even look at the sales in the past year. I did not keep up with anything. All I did, if you can see from my videos, was work on this piece of property. Uh, trying to develop it and try to start living here. So I pulled up this pack and I started charging it. That's it. So, but during the charge on these four cells, what I notice is, you know, they're selling these cells as EVE, 304 amp hour cells, but the real capacity is over 315 amp hours. What's the real capacity then? 320? So you're gonna have a you're gonna have one cell with 320, you're gonna have another one with 310. Why call it a 304 amp hours if if that's not what it is? Um, that is why I'm saying that what we are purchasing from China is second grade cells, rejects from manufacturing. That is my conclusion from owning 54 kilowatt hours worth of cells okay and we have talked we have talked that i'm had that i have more like i had over 120 cells in those three power walls this is my conclusion they they are not the capacity they are not they are not brand that well they are brand new cells but i don't think they are grade A cells. That is the whole point of this video. I thought it was going to be a happy video. I was about to go order more, but I don't know what would I do with this. I don't know. What do you guys think? Post down in the comments below. I don't think these are 304 amp power cells. There might be something else. But the average of these bad cells is 304 amp hours. I mean, even look at look at this. Look at this right here. CATL, 302 amp hours, with the real capacity over 302 amp hours. This is funny. EVE, 304 amp hours, real capacity over 315 hours. EVE, 105 amp hours, 3C. Real capacity over 110. Well, what are we buying here? I don't know. I, I, I just, I wish we could buy a brand new sales like everybody does, like all the reputable companies does do and, and get the real things. All that stuff that is coming out of those warehouses that they're selling in China is a second grade sell. I am convinced of that as, as of today. In another note, the cells that are in those three power walls, if you guys remember what I had, they are still working okay. I want to say that's due to those balancers that I put. One amp and two amp active balancers together with the BMSs. Because we all know that these BMSs, 
that that we purchase they don't have active balancers that transfers a lot of power from one from one cell to another okay they're just there to monitor that battery and bleed off some voltage but i don't think they are in a business of of being a jkbms active balancer like i had and and i think putting three of them together like i did to make a one module I think that works good too. That is my conclusion from today. It took me about 30 minutes just thinking about this to, uh, to realize that, that I don't think these cells that we buy as a pure, you know, mortal people, they are not, they are not proper cells. In conclusion, cells are joke. Would I buy them again? I probably will. I can't say I won't <laughs> but when I need them next time because this is probably the best we can afford. Uh, think about it. 100 kilowatt hours worth of uh, cells in a Ford Mustang Mach-E that don't have any kind of balancer on them, active balancer like we do, and last for 100,000 miles or five years or whatever it is, you know, those are perfectly matched cells, grade A brand new cells inside. And they cost what? They will probably cost 15, 20,000 dollars just to replace on your car. So yeah, these are the cells that are reject on the end that has to be accepted. All right, guys. I'll talk to you soon.